This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you around this 2022 Columbus fifth wheel. The model number is 384RK. Yeah, this is not a floor plan video, it's a how to video. So I'm just going to walk you around the trailer and show you some of the features and how they work, okay? Alright. So, door side uh, rear, you can see just that there is a LP quick connect here, right there, if you want to connect a griddle or a grill to the system. Just make sure if you ever purchase anything, it's the, it's the right pressure for a travel trailer, okay? But that's, this, of course, are, are your rear steps. They're folded up right now. You have two awnings, one on each. One on the slide room, the door side slide room. One on the wall of the door side. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. This is just power here. And uh, this is your furnace, or no, it's not your furnace. This is your furnace vent. This is your water heater. Let's see if I can get this one-handed. So this is a 10-gallon water heater. Works on both gas and electric. The switches to control it are going to be inside the trailer. I'll show you those when we get in there. Now, um, there's an electric heating element behind here. There's a switch for that. Then there's a gas burner here. There's another switch for that. Uh, this is where you drain it. it. Takes an inch and a sixteenth six-point socket with an extension, about a six-inch extension, and then a ratchet or a breaker. Um, that's how you drain the water heater. It has a actually has an anode rod attached to it, so it's it's long, six eight inches long, whatever. Um, right now, this has water in it, right? So um, we've. We've dewinterized the trailer and put it in camping mode. And so the valves uh, on the water heater are in the regular camping position and the water heater tank is full. Never run the water heater without, without water in the tank. That's, that's important. So make sure you don't do that. Um, like I said, I'll show you the switches to operate this when we get inside. These are your attachments for your vacuum. And this is the vacuum on the outside. There'll be ports inside also. I'll show you that when we get in there. You can operate your slide rooms from here. You can also operate them from inside. Uh, you got a TV hookup if you want to uh, you know, watch TV outside. Um, over here, this device, this is your power inverter. So, inversion is the opposite of conversion. Inversion is taking 12 volt DC, regular battery power, and inverting it to 110 AC, right, which is household type current. So the reason this is here, this, this particular uh, trailer, um, when you're pulling down the road, for example, this will invert power from your batteries from 12 volt DC to 110 AC and keep your refrigerator running in the kitchen area. So that's what this inverter is for. So um, we'll go around to the other side. You have two 30 pound LP tanks, which are full. Um, your batteries, some cranks. Uh, switches of course and this is in case you wanted to add a solar battery charger uh, kit to it just to charge your battery that's just an option now this has a six point stabilizing system it's got an auto stabilizer I'll show you basically how it works here I don't want this door to get caught in the wind so Bear with me. So you have, first of all, you have directions right here. Battery must be fully charged to operate jacks. That's important. Um, so to, um, to turn this on, you're going to just push both the up and down buttons at the same time, and it turns on. The, only, the, two, the two main controls is going to be auto level. So after you unhitch your tow vehicle, you pull your truck away and then you push auto level and it levels it, right? Then when you're getting ready to leave, you push auto hitch height. And that will return the trailer back to the position it was right after you unhitched it and right before you auto leveled it. So therefore you should be able to slide right underneath and hook up. Retract all, you gotta be careful because it'll nosedive the front end, right? It won't hurt anything, but if you leave something under the front end, for example, it'll, it'll squish it. So. Um, 
you don't really need to retract all. Hitch height and auto level are the two most common. I believe there's going to be a control in the, or on the inside too. I, um, if, I, if I'm wrong, I'll tell you when we get there, but uh, we'll see what happens. There's another view of your inverter. Okay, you got a reel here. Okay. So here's your water station here. So you have your two black tank flushes, gray tank flush. Um, you have two black tank flushes, this one here and this one here for the different black tanks. Basically what you'll, when you dump your black tank you'll leave the valve in the open position like it is right now. You have to leave it open like it says on the sticker there. Um, then you're going to hook the hose of the dump station on whichever black tank you're going to flush and you turn it on it'll spray out the inside of your black tank, flush it out and then it also spray off the sensor so you get a good accurate reading. So that's a good thing to do. Uh, this is your regular city water hookup right here. The way you get from city water to uh, your fresh water tank and to the water pump and all that uh, are by, by these adjusting these valves into the proper configuration. It's got pictures of each one. Right now we're at, we'll go to city water. You can see the, the white, the green, the red, and the blue. So right now if you're hooked up here, it's just going to be regular city water hookup. Um, now if you have to fill your fresh water tank because um, you know, where your camping doesn't have city water, you'd switch it to this position right here and this will fill the tank. Then when you get to where you're going, you would, you would switch them to this position which puts it in the pumping mode and it'll pump from the tank, right? And then of course winterizing and sanitizing. You can operate your water pump from out here also, inside or outside the trailer. Cable and satellite hookup, power here, and you have a water filter canister. If you want to use a carbon block filter, if you use one you have to change it every season. Okay. Uh, there's where you hook your dump hose up to. Okay, this is the second uh, galley tank here. So you have two black tanks. This is the second one. Or, I'm sorry, two gray tanks. So this is the second gray tank. Okay. Why is that this open? This is your cord. It's a 30 foot 50 amp cord. So we give you reducers to reduce it down. Okay. Um, give you one to go from 50 to 30, then we'll give you another one to go from 30 to 20, in case you want to plug it into the so while you're packing it up. You have a uh, ladder, so you want to make sure that you inspect your roof. The manufacturer states every 60 days, have somebody look at the roof, make sure there's no damage by low branches or, or uh, road debris, make sure all the, the ceiling's in good shape, no cracking or separation, so it should be part of your regular maintenance. Make sure you keep after your roof just to stay ahead of things. Yeah, this pre-wired for a backup camera, as you can see. There's the housing there. Okay. So we're going to go inside. I'm going to roll the awnings in because it's a little bit breezy for them to be out. Okay. So let's see what we've got here. Take a look around. over here to the touch panel and, and uh, touch it there we go okay so let's see what we've got here the awning we're on awning section right now so we'll retract um, this one here on the wall is retracted as you can see Obviously, you never leave the awnings out unattended. If you're not going to be at the campground, you're going to uh, roll them in so they don't get damaged by the weather. Okay, and then we'll get the other one. Normally they would be in, but somebody must have been cleaning it, so they opened them up. 
I've got a half hour to get this video done before it starts another another file so I gotta pick up the pace here okay and there you have it okay so um, next if you go this way a little bit you've got slide rooms so you take that and here's your slide controls here um, you're leveling that's so there is a second leveler this one will basically has more features than the one outside the one outside has more limited uh, uh, control so the the main difference between this one and the and the outside you still have auto hitch height and and auto level and all that but you have manual also so um, you can actually push the air on manual and you can um, operate the jacks manually right so you can actually if you're in a really weird situation with really weird ground you can you can actually manually level them so that this this if you use this leveler you just have more features than the one outside okay and to go on a little bit uh, you can um, come on quit, quit, quit messing with me. there we go you can operate the lights you can see your your tank levels that sort of thing Come on now, behave. There we go. So, um, monitor panels so you can monitor your water and you know your lighting and your t your fresh tank your tanks right here. You can see them. So, all that's done from there. This also has an app. So if you scan this, it'll take you to a, an app and you can control it from your phone if you want. This is uh, a portable uh, controller for. It's going to be for. Let's see powered ceiling vent like this one here the, the lid on it and everything works from a remote so you don't have to get a ladder or anything to, to operate it so that's what that is now these couches this one is a hide a bed so it, you take the back cushions out you can fold it out into a regular bed this is this is also a hide a bed so you got two of them then you have your theater seats here this is for some reason it has the leaf out on the table make sure you put it in before you operate the slides for sure um, you have a, uh, a fireplace which is also a space heater I'll just operate it here so so you can see it there it's on H um, I'll operate over here off low high that's the fan speed so you got it on high, it's really kicking out heat right now, okay? You can also change the color of the crystals, right? Um, it has a timer, so you can set the timer. So it, it does everything you need. It's a really good space heat. It runs off AC power. Your um, sound system, um, basically you have three speaker zones, A, B, and C. So A is this room, B will be the front, and then C will be outside. You have AM, FM radio, you have Bluetooth, so you can stream wirelessly with Bluetooth um, from your phone or your tablet. You have a, a, um, a USB, so you could put a USB drive in there, take all your albums with you, turn them into AP, or add a MP3s to it, and uh, take all your albums with you. And next to it is a HDMI in, in case you need to go into the system with something, like a, like a blue portable Blu-ray player or something, you could plug it right in there. So it does a lot. You got a bass system, and there's the knobs for it to control this bass speaker here. Okay. Um, it's going to be a remote for that too. I don't see it sitting here, but we'll make sure it's here. Uh, that's your TV remote, obviously. This will. I don't know if this is on a swing out bracket. No, it looks like it's it's stationary. So, okay. Um, refrigerator. Remember I told you that the, you, when you're plugged in, the AC power at the campground will run your refrigerator. When you're going down the road, um, the inverter will run the refrigerator. It'll take 12 volt DC from the batteries and invert it into 110 AC for your refrigerator. And while you're traveling, the, your tow vehicle's alternator will be charging the batteries. So that's, you can run it. This is, the, you keep this in position so the doors and drawers doesn't come flying open when you're traveling and dent something. 
Your range is very simple. I don't know if he's got the gas on, but we'll just walk through it here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't think he does. But anyway, that's all there is to it. You're just going to put it to the picture of the flame and then depress it. Very simple. Then you have lights for the oven and for the top. Okay. Um, your microwave. Any of the lights that aren't attached to the to the main controller, you have a button on it. Let's look and see in here and see if you got your remotes here. Or do I have to? Oh yeah, there they are. That's the JBL. There must be another TV up front. And we'll look around that. And that, this one here is for your. You barely see it, but this one here is for your fireplace. Okay. Carl? Yes. If we go up front. You have a half bath here. This this device right here is your power converter. It does the opposite of the inverter. When you're plugged in, it'll take 110 AC and convert it to 12 volt DC. It'll also keep your batteries charged. It'll, it'll send so much energy to your battery and keep them charged. So that's the converter. This one has a remote too for the ceiling up there. Okay. RV toilet is like any other RV toilet. It sits, it sits, sits above a black tank. It's got a flush pedal on it. When you get to the campground, you hook up your power and your water. You're going to come inside, you put a dose of chemical in the bowl. Plus you step on the pedal and, and let at least a gallon of water go in there and you're all set to use it. You never, you never use it dry. If you do, it will get clogged up and the smell will be also be terrible. So you always want to make sure that you don't use it dry. Okay. So under here, let's see, we got some chairs under here, yeah, so you have two more chairs for your um, uh, dinette table, okay, okay, these things here are sensors for the HVAC system, just so you know, um, the other TV is right here. Um, sink and shower work like any other sink and shower. Okay. Go farther, see what we got up here. Looks like just closet space. Yep, so you got plenty of closet space up here. Another fan, the four speed fan. Storage everywhere, like you would expect. Okay. I thought there was going to be a trap door under there, but I was wrong. Okay, so I think this pretty much covers it. I'm going to look around a bit and uh, see if we forgot anything. Looks like we've got it. Um, When it comes to the control panel, it's pretty self it's pretty intuitive. Plus there'll be literature on it. So you can you can look into it somewhat. You're gonna have to educate yourself just a bit, unless you've had one before. They all work pretty much the same, so okay. Alright, so I think that's good. So <clears throat> excuse me, I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Um, any more questions you have, you can ask them when you come to pick up. Uh, remember to inspect your roof regularly. Manufacturers say 60 days, somewhere in there. So make sure you keep after that. It's just protecting your investment. Odds are you'll go up there for years and not have to do anything, but that's why you inspect it, just to make sure. Um, and right now, this, the, the, uh, this is in camping mode, so the antifreeze has been purged from the system and uh, replaced with fresh water. The, the water heater is in camping mode and full. Here we go. This is your for your... Um, uh, uh, vacuum system here you can you can sweep the dirt right up to there and it'll suck it in and then you can hook up a hose right here so okay all right so I think that does it so 
Uh, thank you very much, and we'll see you when you come to pick up, okay? Thank you.